COVID-19 really is still a big mystery, and there's a lot that doctors and scientists just don't know about it. Yes, and the key to learning more about it will come from those who have had it and how their body has fought it. Channel 9's Deshaun Brown introduces us to a woman who has COVID-19 but has no symptoms and how her experience could help others. I know in the news you always see the one or two people who have been hit really hard with it and that definitely happens but there are also a lot of cases like me where there's people who are really asymptomatic. There is important information to extract from Jenny Cook's experience with COVID-19. Cook tested positive for the virus in mid-March. In fact, she's still testing positive. They don't know if the virus they're detecting is dead or alive, but just to stay on the safe side and staying indoors. For weeks, Cook has been part of a research study conducted through Duke University investigating how the body fights off infection from COVID-19, also known as antibodies. She's among 50 participants so far. They actually just came about 30 minutes ago, so yeah, I got my, uh, my blood draw here. Researchers have been looking to blood samples and information from their nose and mouth. They're searching for those antibodies that can eventually be shared with patients facing more serious infections. They're providing really, really important uh, samples that support the development of better diagnostic tests, including serological tests, so we can determine who's been uh, exposed before and maybe who can return to work. Dr. Chris Woods from Duke is chief of the Infectious Diseases Division. And that you've seen one case of COVID-19, you've seen one case of COVID-19. Um, many of them have uh, very limited or no symptoms. Like Jenny. I've been feeling absolutely fine. I've had almost zero symptoms. As for a timeline, their goal is to help treat patients even before a vaccine is approved. The best case scenario on that could be between six to eight months. Back to you.